Hey guys, Biggie here, and I get asked quite often for a recommendation of a mod list to play if you have a potato computer, but you still want a modern Skyrim experience. So that is why we're going to be talking about Elmo Rim and who this mod list is for. So let's get into some combat first so you guys can get a feel for the meatiness of the combat here. Let's uh, get through these bandits. There we go. We got our Valhalla combat there. Maximum carnage. All that modern fun stuff for a performance friendly list. So Elmarim, when I first looked at it a few months ago, it was using an ENB, but now it's actually using the community shaders. So what that allows is it looks pretty nice. I mean, obviously it's not going to look as nice as uh, some of the ENBs that are out there, but it's going to look fairly nice without taxing your computer. I mean, take a look at that. You guys can be the judge of uh, how you think this looks, but I think this looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. And honestly, this looks uh, better than some of the, uh, the lighter ENBs that are out there uh, as well. The community shaders... Uh, Really are doing some uh, crazy work. So, Elmo Rim is going to be able to give you a modern Skyrim experience. So, we have MCO. So, you see the combat animations that I was using. Look at that. And they're not the, uh, you know, kind of fantasy style animations that you might see in some mod lists. They do fit in with Skyrim's theme. So, you can get big, meaty attacks. And then on top of that, you also have a uh, Simon Rim for uh, your perks, magic, and everything like that. So Adamant will be your perk system, mysticism for magic. Uh, and you'll also be able to improve upon the vanilla Skyrim experience. So uh, you won't have a ton of new quest additions or anything like that. Instead, uh, you'll have your uh, vanilla quests for the most part, be expanded. You have J Serpa's mods to help a lot with that. Get rid of these guys here. So uh, J Serpa's quest mods will be able to enhance them as well as some other little uh, miscellaneous quest mods. There is a lot, there is a lot. So uh, certain quests might be more difficult than you would normally expect from vanilla but it also allows you for some additional roleplay features. So if you are running a really uh, lower tier computer and you're itching for a modern Skyrim experience, this is the perfect mod list for you. This fills an incredible niche that no other mod list can really claim to do because the... That was really loud. The uh, unfortunate reality is that uh, pretty much all the other mod lists that have uh, modern combat um, are also very taxing on your computer. Um, you know, the the look outside of Elmo Rim, uh, you know, at worst case scenario, you'll need a mid tier PC to run any other modern combat mod list that's out there. So, pretty cool. So let's get into some more combat, huh? Oh, guys. I think it looks pretty nice. And uh, in the near future, I'll be uh, actually looking forward to working with Elmo to make another video. It kind of goes over uh, setting up hotkeys and things like that. I don't want to go over it into too much depth in this video. I think that will uh, best be left for a, a, a whole separate video, which will hopefully come in the near future. So stay tuned for that. Um, now that might put some people off because, you know, by default, you don't have your regular favoriting uh, hotkeys. There's an alternative favoriting system. Uh, hop in here, grab everything. Now, who it isn't for, it's not going to be a super, super hardcore mod list, really. Uh, now, Simon Rim does kind of balance the, the vanilla game. So, 
uh, patches a lot of little exploits and stuff you can normally do, like alchemy, enchanting, smithing, looping. Uh, you know, it makes the the crafting professions not as OP as they reg uh, normally are. Makes uh, magic scale a little bit better. But uh, in contrast, you do get uh, the ability to block projectiles with your weapons. So, uh, you know, it's not a super hardcore list. Also, if you're looking for photorealistic graphics, probably not for you. And if you're looking for a lot of additional content, so you need quest mods, uh, you'd have to be prepared to add them in yourself. But definitely don't let that stop you from playing Elmo Rim. It's a very fun mod list. And I remember the first time um, I was making my very first Elmo Rim video. After I was done recording, I just kind of uh, stopped recording, but then I zoned out and I was just running through clearing dungeons. The combat is actually really, really fun. Uh, it has a very nice choice of uh, animation mods. You're not going to find anything that's over the top ridiculous. It all looks really nice. And the movement, the movement. I mean, look at the character as, as the character is running around. Everything feels very fluid, you know? And uh, that does help, you know, with the, the list being lighter, performance friendly. Uh, the combat kind of uh, feels a little bit better. I mean, some things are obviously not going to be like the the water is the big one. The water, out of all the things that uh, visually are a little bit off-putting, I would say the water if I could pick one thing. But uh, that's kind of uh, it's tough to get good-looking water in Skyrim without uh, using an ENB. That is just how it is. But anyway. Let me know uh, if this video worked out for you. Uh, let me know if this uh, mod list was fun, if you guys agree with my recommendations, and if you're kind of in that category of people who this helps out. Uh, shout out to my members, Ivor Snakebound and Eric Kenoshi. Uh, if you guys want to become channel members, uh, feel free to do so. Don't feel obligated to, but it does help support the channel. Also, I am streaming on Kick, so if you guys have not followed me already on Kick, uh, kick.com slash biggie underscore boss. It'll be in the description below. I'll catch you guys next time.